what is up guys um okay so this is the second session in the python spider uh, tutorial um this session i'm going to be covering very very quickly um something called variable and variable assignments uh so we have our um spider um ide displayed um and now i'm just going to show you a couple of uh um, uh, simple ways of uh, of putting together some some very simple useful variables. We we'll also construct a very simple program at the end of this using variable assignment, and I'll show you why um, it's so important to use variables. Uh, but before I do, I just want to cover some other quick little things, um, just to let you know that's an integer decimal point is a floating point okay so if i ever mention floating points or integers uh that's what i mean integer full number floating point is a uh, decimal and uh python can use either of those for variable assignments okay so let's start so just a quick little recap um last week i said things like uh, you can do functions like print and then brackets, um, hello, close bracket. Remember I said you can't just uh, press enter, you've got to press run, and then it in the console, remember the console section, that's where you get your answers, um, hello appears. Um, that's a string, by the way. Um, you can use um, either single quotations or double quotations. The only time you really need to use double quotations is if in the string you're using had a single apostrophe. So let's say you were saying, um, whose house is this? Or um, it's Dave's house or something that required a <coughs> an apostrophe. Um, then, you, then you'd need to use uh, double quotations because it just wouldn't get it. So if I said um, something like, uh, uh, Dave's um, house see it doesn't pick it up as a string it doesn't recognize it as string so if I try to run this you get a syntax error so you'd have to do double quotations in this case and uh, the string now gets picked up and it's Dave's house so anything with um, um, an apost a single apostrophe within your string, you have to use double quotations. Otherwise, uh, you don't need to use double quotations. So I just wanted to touch on that, um, just in case there was some confusion. Also, last week I did um, some arithmetic, something like uh, 1 uh, plus 1. Um, and I said you can run those kind of operators. Uh, equals two <coughs> so print one plus one equals two this is not a string now so a string if i wanted to print one plus one look at the difference now it says one plus one but if i want to do the mathematical um calculation i do not put turn that into a string so strings are where you put apostrophes around it otherwise just leave it as a one plus one okay so that's a print function with a string another way of doing this perhaps i'll do it side by side to show you the difference is where you assign um some kind of um, variable um a equals let's say one now if i print a I get, it's gonna do two one now because obviously it's printing this, uh, but there's the answer, it's the one there. So it's printing the variable, which is assigned one. You can see it there. So the, <coughs> the specific difference is, I'm now printing the value assigned to the variable. So I hope that's uh, clear. I can also um, do it a different way. I can basically turn this into a um, string and say something like hello uh, world 
um, and it should now print hello world as a variable. So remember I'm printing, so, so in the last session I would have had print uh, open bracket hello world close bracket. Now I'm simply doing print a because I've assigned that variable. So a equals this string. Um, I can also do um, some other stuff. So I'll, I'll go back to um, variable, uh, um, sorry, um, calculations such as one plus one, print A. Again, I can, I'm gonna get rid of this print one plus one now. So we've just got this particular um, uh, variable that we're using, printing two. Now let's say I did something like um, a equals um, a plus a. You think, hang on a minute. That's not, that doesn't really make sense. But I'll show you what it does first. Print a. It creates a number four. So remember two is just this first one. And then it's creating a number four because a, what it's doing there is um, taking a as one plus one, which is two, a plus one plus one. So really this is, an, this is a calculation of one plus one plus one plus one, which is four. So that's why it's producing the four. So you can, you can do that kind of um, sequential addition. Now, um, the last thing I want to show you with variables, and by the way, um, um, I'm only gonna go through one session of variables. These are really, really fast uh, sessions, hence is why these are the bare basics. Um, I'll then go into lists and a couple of other things, and then we're just gonna get straight into uh, developing a neural network. Um, so uh, uh, it's a rapid course. So again, this is not everything that you need to um, uh, no, I mean you can you can learn a lot more around this, but these are the bare basics. Uh, a couple of things about notation. Um, now, if you're writing, <coughs> I'm just going to do a, a um, another um, little exercise. Um, my income. So this here's a um, another variable. Now, um, if you notice, I've got a underscore. Now, the formal notation says no spaces, no numbers. So you've got to have a, a word split by uh, an underscore. So keep it all lowercase. That's formal notation. Um, equals, let's say it's 100 bucks. And then I'm going to assign another variable. I'm going to say um, tax rate underscore rate equals, um, let's say it's 10%, uh, which is 0 0.1 in de decimal. And let's say um, you want to calculate uh, what your taxes are. My taxes equals um, uh, my income times, so times is a star, my income times my tax rate, yeah? So if I get rid of this, we don't need that now. <coughs> this is our little program using variables. See what it comes up with. Nothing, because I need to do this. Print, um, rem remember you always need to print um, your last variables, in this case it's my underscore taxes, and now you should get the answer, which is 10 bucks. Why is it 10 bucks? Because 10% of 100 is 10. So you can see how variables might be useful if you're doing a large program. You don't want to um, keep on writing you know, inputting your taxes, your income, these might change all the time. So perhaps you've got another indicator. <coughs> I'll do more complex um, programs 
in a later session where we have something like a, an input where you could let's say you had an app and you just put in your inputted your uh, newest tax rate or your, your let's see your income was variable then you just put in those values and it will just reassign whatever your income is based on the variable you give it so the calculation the program does the rest you only need to change uh, let's say these uh, two things your tax rate and your income level uh, the rest of your program uh, would be the same so it saves us a lot of time okay guys that's all i need to cover in terms of a um, very simple overview of a variable assignment we're going to get onto some other stuff like uh, um, lists and um, more complicated things um, very soon um, so i hope you enjoyed that and goodbye